Basically, Son of the Morning is a full concept album from start to finish, and um, the it basically starts out it starts out with a with a song called Son of the Morning, the title track, and it is voiced completely from Satan, and like the entire time, it's him uh, basically calling out God, um, making all these like these outlandish claims and stuff, and just like challenging him, like threatening him. Um, Basically, uh, telling him that uh, he was going to make he's going to make his rise soon. Now's the time, the best time, more than ever, for him to do that through all of God's fallen children. And um, the rest of the record, um, the only the only thing that the only the only response God has during that is is simply during the chorus. Uh, God's response is, uh, "If you could see like me, you'd see you haven't won anything. If you could see like me, you'd see it's by my grace that you're breathing." And um, and then after that song, the rest of the album is ba is God speaking into different people at different points in their lives and um, basically like revealing himself to different people and ultimately like raising an army. And then the last song in the, uh, on the album is um, is called The Finisher and it's God's reply to the first one, like his direct reply. And the whole thing is a voice through God's perspective. And basically, through the entire thing, he's just completely putting him in his place, like saying everything from, um, like, I'll snap your neck to I'll rip out your knees, uh, like, I'll, you'll bow at my feet, um, everything. <laughs> we love you too. <laughs> I don't like, I don't like myself. Oh, I love you, Mitch. Um, Basically, uh, saying anything from all, all of that to, at the very end, um, he says, uh, my angels will sing to a world reborn as I cut off your horns. And the last breakdown is, I'll cut off your horns, I'll cut off your horns. And the album artwork uh, is actually, it's just, it's really simple, it's just a one symbol, which is a, um, it's a, it's a broken pentagram. It's a broken pentagram um, where basically to give background on it, the uh, pentagram was actually used to be, you know, you see it's the up, um, upside down star, um, well it used to be right side up which uh, was a Christian symbol which showed uh, God over the four points of creation where pagans took it and um, they flipped it upside down to show creation over God and then later uh, <laughs> later the uh, like Satanist culture took it from the pagans and matched it with the goat head which where it was the uh, the goatee the, the goat ears and then the horns um, the, our symbol on the front is uh, essentially the pentagram with the horns cut off because in the last line of, last line of the entire album in the song The Finisher it, uh, which is a song directly directed um, completely towards Satan and it's in reply to the first song of the album uh, he says uh, my angels will sing to a world reborn as I cut off your horns and so the symbol to us uh, represents ultimately God's victory over evil and um, we're really excited about it basically already like on stage we have eight foot tall pentagrams behind us you know so it's like uh, I guess the, the whole one, one thing we, we want to do with our band is we want to be we want to kind of challenge people to look a little deeper than just like the surface level um, youth group praise stuff, uh, which is great in, in its own respect, but um, I think that some people want a little more sometimes. They want something that they can actually dig into and become a part of, and uh, that's, that's kind of our goal, and we made a promise to ourselves to uh, never, like, like if, if something needs to be said, if something... Um, would be too edgy or anything like that. We're gonna fight um, our best to get it get it out there. Like uh, in our first album, When I Am God, we have a line in one of our songs that says, "Well, the album title, When I Am God," um, 
if you don't want to look into it, it sounds very pretentious and it sounds very uh, just arrogant and there's a bunch of adjectives I've heard or a bunch of words I've heard that describe what we are by putting that on that. But if you actually look into it and you want something more than surface level, you find out that when I am God is a part of a line that says when I am God, this church is unsound and ultimately says when I try to play God in my own life, everything falls apart. So um, we're just really excited. This new album lyrically is much more honest, um, a little bit more blunt. Uh, it is uh, built, all the metaphors are built around spiritual uh, warfare and spiritual uh, battles um, instead of When I'm God, which was lit, written more uh, mythologically and um, had more ties with like sirens and like, you know, kind of odyssey type things. Uh, but we're really excited about it and um, we'd love for you guys to check it out. It hits uh, August 25th. Definitely. So um, what is your approach to writing? I mean, how are you inspired? It seems to me like you can watch a cartoon and come away with wisdom. Uh, well, honestly, um, I think that anytime someone comes up and says that they were inspired or that they're influenced by the music or the lyrics or anything like that, that's just um, that's just a, a living testament to they're not hearing me through it, and that that's just that's that to me it's just obvious that that's God like speaking speaking through it, using it to, to speak to them because I don't have the power to touch someone's heart. Like I don't have the power to inspire change in someone or anything like that I don't have it I don't have that's not me and so um, knowing that and knowing that I want to see like change in people and I want to inspire people to to take strides like towards God and into having like personal relationship uh, I just basically like shower like everything in prayer and when we're writing um, before we write a song uh, or they'll write a song and before I write lyrics to it, I'll just sit down and pray and just be like, God, if you don't tell me what to write, then this is going to be really stupid and <laughs> it is not going to be like worth a dime. And so I'll just sit there and start free writing and just write and write and write. And sometimes it turns into prayers. Sometimes it turns into journal entries and everything like that. But um, eventually he'll, he'll just kind of give little, little things and, something builds around it and um, next thing you know we're writing a song so I, I don't hope it doesn't come across as arrogant like I don't think that I'm like God's messenger or anything like that but I definitely think that I definitely want it to be known that he's the inspiration behind everything that I write <laughs> The biggest thing we have coming up right now is a tour with Every Time I Die and Bring Me the Horizon, which kicks off, I believe it's September 8th through October 11th. And it's we're playing mainly House of Blues stuff. Uh, and then we're, I think we're going to be back in Dallas on the 23rd of September. And that's like really new, just, just hit. So we're really excited. Dude, that's about that. awesome. A House of Blues tour. Yeah. That'll be completely new for you. Yeah. Well, we played a few House of Blues, but this will be cool. I'm like a whole tour like that. Your own sleeper, all the way, baby. Woo! Buy it from us if you can. <laughs> <laughs>